By allowing Jehovah to instruct us and to lead us in the path of uprightness, we will have no cause for fear. When a regular pioneer in the United States applied for a job that would help him to keep his entire family in full-time service, his supervisor told him that he would never get that position without a college degree. Had this happened to you, would you have regretted pursuing full-time service to the exclusion of seeking higher education? Two weeks later, that supervisor's employment was terminated, and another manager asked the brothers about his goals. The brother about his goals. He readily explained that he and his wife were full-time ministers of Jehovah's Witnesses and wanted to continue as such. Before the brother could say anything else, the manager said, I knew there was something different about you. When my father was, father was on his deathbed, two of your fellow believers came and read the Bible to him every day. I promised myself that if I ever had an opportunity to help one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I would do it. The next morning, this brother was given the very job that the former director had refused to give him. Indeed, when we put kingdom interests first in our life, Jehovah lives up to his assurance that he will not go without, that we will not go without material necessities. So for 15 and 16, how do we benefit when we heed divine instruction. Illustrate. Well, here it mentions how we need to act in harmony with our prayers and really um, pay attention to Bible-based direction that we receive to go with organization. And we know that for years now we've been told and encouraged to simplify our lives, to really um, try to rid ourselves of unneeded debt. Because really, when the end comes, we're not taking anything with us. Jehovah promises us our life. That's it. So um, why are we working so hard sometimes for all these things? So it mentioned that do we immediately apply everything that we read in the Bible and in the publication when it's required of us, especially if it requires personal sacrifice? Yes. And in the case of this brother in paragraph 16, how did it work out for him? Brother Bill? The admonition found in uh, Matthew 6, 33, to keep on seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things will be added to you. He continued to first the kingdom by putting him and his family first and they want to stay in the full time service and totally couldn't. And then situations changed just two weeks later and it was given the ability to do so. Yes. Amazing how Jehovah sometimes works things out in ways we can never imagine. But again, gives us courage, helps us to build that trust in Jehovah. Lastly, paragraph seventeen David next underscores the necessity of faith and hope by saying, If I had not had faith in seeing the goodness of Jehovah in the land of those alive, indeed, where would we be without our God-given hope and our appreciation for the things discussed in Psalm 27? May we, then, continue to pray confidently for strength and deliverance as we face the events leading up to Armageddon. Would someone like to read first Psalm 27, verse 14? Rose Cleveland, thank you. Psalm 27, verse 14. Hope in Jehovah, be courageous, and let your heart be strong. Yes, hope in Jehovah. Thank you. So, the question asks, what will enable us to face the future with confidence? especially in line with that scripture just read. Brother Rainer? Us trusting in Jehovah and putting our hope in Him and not in this world. Yes, very well put. Go back, please, to page 22, and we'll take a look at the review questions for a bit. According to the following verses, what can help you to develop courage? Psalm 27, verse 1, which talks about Jehovah's my light, etc. And 
and also paragraph 3 talks a little bit about that as well. Sister Deach. Jehovah gives us plenty of information. Just this article alone helps us to see uh, what we can do and apply in our lives so that we can face the um, dangers that are going to come upon each and every one of us. And so he gives us principles that uh, if we apply those principles in our everyday life, well, we'll do well. So, and to act on what we learn. And so these are all good things that help us to be fortified for what's coming. Yes, thank you. Psalm 27, verse 4, which talks about paragraph 7 and 8. Brother Hill? Oh, we have the example of David. It helps us to remember all the fine things that Jehovah has did for him. And even in our own lives, all the fine things that Jehovah has done for us and how he's helped us out of trials and tribulations so that can help us to develop courage and want to dwell in Jehovah's time. Yes, thank you. And lastly, Psalm 27, verse 11. Sister Hill.